G'day, Stu here from UAV Futures and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday we get together, we talk about some new, different or just exciting technology in the FPV drone racing world and today, well, I've got something for you guys out there, you guys with the tiny whoops, the tiny whoopers, what we've got, this is the F3, the B Core V2 and what this is, this is like a little flight controller for your tiny whoops. Now, tiny whoops, if you don't know, are some of the most popular little indoor micro FPV racing drones that were really, really big last year except they did have some limitations with their flight controllers. So I'm pretty excited because we're going to be sticking this bad boy on the bench, breaking it down and finding out how this can make a difference and how this can upgrade your tiny whip. All right, let's stick it on the bench and get started. Alrighty, so here it is on the bench and I'm just telling you guys straight away, this one's going to be a quick video because look, it's a fairly simple product, but it does things well. And that's what I like about Tech Tuesday. This traditionally wouldn't really be a long 10 minute video or something like that. One of the typical Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos, but Tech Tuesdays, they give me a chance to sort of show you some stuff that otherwise wouldn't be making it on the channel. Now, what we actually have here, so here's the B-Core, the little unit itself. The first thing we're going to do when I stick it on the scales, because when you're dealing with tiny whoops, every single, I guess, tenth of a gram matters. So we're going to tear, tear our scales off right here. So it's coming in at just over three grams, you know, and I guess that's pretty standard, and every single gram does matter when you're flying around, because those tiny whoops, they are so light anyway, you want to keep the weight down to an absolute minimum. Now we're just going to quickly go through the things. You've got your little motor plug-ins right here. That stuff's pretty standard. Standard. You've got your USB adapter and that's so you can connect up to beta flight, all that sort of jazz. It is rocking an F3 chip, which is fantastic because I can't believe these little micros, like they used to be 8-bit and now, uh, you know, now we're actually having F3 in there and it's also got our beta flight OSD, which is fantastic. Now that was one of the big limitations of some of the other ones. You didn't really have an OSD on the tiny whoops. So this bad boy is going to let you do it. I do like it. It's going to fit exactly in there. It's the same shape, all that sort of stuff. It's going to just be sort of plug and play literally from your tiny whoops. So if you want upgrade all you've got to do is take your old one out plug this one in and i reckon within 60 seconds you'd be uh, ready to sort of get onto the computer get this thing configured now as well as having the beta flight osd you know i do like it's got your built-in free sky receiver right here i'll leave a bunch of other links to some other versions down below as well because look they do come with some other versions and then there's not too much you've got your little power pad at the back of course it just rocks on a 1s because that's all tiny whoops use and then on the side here you've just got a little way to bind up your camera so you just sort of you know you've got your five volt ground video out and video in so overall Oh really, really cool stuff that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy upgrading their tiny whoops, especially if it's winter and you know you sort of can't get outdoors too much and you're looking for something that you want to get some good FPV action. Maybe you want an OSD, some smoother flight characteristics. This thing, it's going to go a long way and at a pretty good price as well. Alrighty, so overall that's about it. The only other things is a little bind button on the bottom, some little buzzer pads if you do want to hook up a tiny little buzzer and you know if you're flying around outdoors with your tiny whoop, not that I'd recommend that, but you know that might be an option to put a little buzzer in there. So not too much I can say, but if you want to upgrade your tiny whip something like this is going to go a long way alrighty so there it is there's my tech Tuesday quick look at the B flight V2 and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret well I guess traditionally I'm not the biggest fan of like those tiny whip brushed micro FPV races because I feel like there's some better options out there you know if you want to get into the hobby you want to try some things uh, there are some better things you can fly around with but in saying that, I know that, you know, there are a ton of people. Tiny Whoops have a massive following. There's big races just with Tiny Whoops. They've done a really good job in sort of bringing a lot of people into the hobby. So if you're one of those people out there who already has a Tiny Whoop and you're thinking, gee, I want to upgrade it, something like this thing is going to be great, especially like the OSD, how it binds up, all that sort of jazz. It's simple and it just works. Now, what I'm going to be doing, because look, I have no idea where my Tiny Whoop is. I've looked around. I couldn't find it. I'm going to be giving this one out to my Patreon supporters. So uh, massive shout out to them because I couldn't share this message of FPV without your support. So, one of you Patreon supporters will put this in this month's prize. We'll be sending this off. For everybody else, subscribe for more FPV-related content. Drop some comments down below if you've had some experience with this. Uh, and as always, happy flying. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.